Thank you for your interest in the MotorVac Carbon Clean System. This video has been designed to assist you in understanding the reasons why and how the Carbon Clean System can provide a valuable add-on service for your shop, as well as helping to increase your sales and improve customer satisfaction. If you are thinking about buying a Carbon Clean System, this video will show you how simple the machine is to operate, its many features, and the benefits of owning the unit. If you have already purchased the Carbon Clean system, then this video will show you the initial setup, priming, and operation of the machine. It will also show you how to use the Carbon Clean system to perform engine fuel system diagnostics and how to sell the service to your customers. The Carbon Clean system is a complete fuel system service and diagnostic center that will clean the entire fuel system from intake to exhaust. This system features a fully electronic microprocessor controlled operation and will provide a simple method of engine diagnostics. The unit is portable and is designed to run unattended. The system won Motor Magazine's Top 20 Tool Award in 1995 and since then thousands of units have been sold in over 60 countries around the world. As the automotive repair industry continues to evolve, Every shop needs to find new services to ensure their customers continued satisfaction as well as grow their business. The service that will not only improve the drivability of your customers' cars, but will also increase sales and help improve profits for your shop. The Carbon Clean System can solve a number of problems for your customers, making you a hero and ensuring they return to your shop time and time again. There are many features and benefits provided by the Carbon Clean System, for example, once the unit is hooked up to a vehicle, it can be used to perform many of the diagnostics that are necessary with today's cars, including running fuel pressure, deadhead pressure, fuel volume, and a leak down test. A technician can perform all of these diagnostics in less than two minutes. The Carbon Clean system comes with all the adapters necessary to perform a service on most cars. Also, since the unit basically acts as a replacement for the vehicle's fuel system, it is built complete with its own pump, pressure gauge, pressure regulator, and a fuel reservoir. The Carbon Clean System uses a proprietary detergent as the cleaning agent, which is a non-flammable, non-hazardous, and non-carcinogenic formula. Since it is not a solvent-based chemical, it will not harm plastic injectors or Teflon-coated parts. Also, it will not damage the paint or chrome on your customers' cars and your technicians will appreciate that it is safe for them to use. The unit has a heavy duty cabinet that is very durable, yet will not damage the vehicle. Its safety features will allow the unit to be operated unattended, so you can do other work while the system is running. And our one year parts and labor warranty is also backed up by a free technical support team that is just a phone call away. Now that you have seen all the advantages of the Carbon Clean system, and how it can expand the maintenance services that you provide to your customers, let's discuss how to properly hook up and safely use the machine. How to set up a new machine. Please read the operator's manual thoroughly and keep it handy for reference. If you have any questions in the US and Canada, please call Technical Services at 800-841-8810 or if outside the US, call 714-558-4822 or call your local distributor or dealer. You can also email the Technical Services Department at techsupport at motorvac.com. The following procedure is used to flush factory testing fluids before the first service. First, verify the unit's fuel filter is secure. Also check the output and return hoses, battery connections, and all external components for damage. Turn the pressure adjust regulator on the control panel counterclockwise until it is completely open. Attach the unit's red power lead to the positive terminal of the vehicle's battery. Attach the black lead to a ground point on the vehicle. Fill the unit's reservoir with clean gasoline until the fuel level window indicates a quarter tank. Next, connect the unit's red output hose and black return hose together using number 060-1100 and number 060-1400 adapters. To flush the system, Press and hold the start button for five minutes. Now, release the start button. This thoroughly flushes the system and prepares it for service. Disconnect the output and return lines. Drain the reservoir by connecting the number 060-1100 adapter to the red output hose. 
direct the adapter and red output hose into an appropriate container. Press and hold the start button until the gas from the unit has been emptied into the container. Release the start button. Dispose of fuel using an environmentally approved method. Note, repeat the previous steps any time the unit's reservoir is completely drained of fuel. The next step is determining what type of fuel system the vehicle has. The system can be carbureted, throttle body injection, port or direct fuel injection, continuous injection or returnless. For this video, we are using a port or direct injection system. Please refer to your operator's manual for other fuel system procedures. Important: Do not perform the setup or cleaning process if the vehicle's engine oil or coolant level is low. If necessary, add oil and or coolant to the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle has at least one-eighth tank of fuel prior to starting a service. Start the vehicle and allow the engine to reach normal operating temperature. Turn the vehicle off when normal operating temperature has been reached. Turn the pressure adjust regulator counterclockwise until the regulator is completely open. Attach the unit's red power lead to the positive terminal of the vehicle's battery. Attach the black lead to a ground point on the vehicle as far away from the battery as possible. If the reverse polarity LED comes on, make sure the connections to the vehicle's battery are correct as described above. Remove the vehicle's gas cap to relieve fuel tank pressure. Reinstall the vehicle's gas cap. Verify that the engine is no longer running. Disconnect the vehicle's fuel lines from the fuel rail. You will have a pressure line from the tank, a pressure line to the fuel rail, a return line from the fuel rail, and a return line to the tank. Attach the matching adapters to these open lines. Verify that the adapters are locked in place. Attach the ends of the T adapter number 060-4500 to both pressure line adapters, then attach the red output hose to the center connection on the T adapter. Note, the pressure line is always larger than the return line. Attach the loop adapter number 060-2501 to both return side adapters. The black return hose on the carbon clean unit is not used at this time. Now is the best time to connect the vacuum gauge to the engine. This allows a vacuum test to be performed and enables you to see a before and after service reading. Start the vehicle and check the connections for leaks. Monitor the fuel pressure gauge on the control panel and verify the system pressure reading is within factory specifications. Refer to the vehicle's service manual for the manufacturer's recommended fuel pressure. Low pressure can indicate a leak, a faulty regulator, or bad fuel pump. This section is designed to show you the different diagnostic tests you can perform on vehicles. These tests can help determine if poor engine performance is caused by other conditions related to the fuel system. For carbureted or returnless systems, you may perform a fuel system pressure test, a fuel volume test, or a vacuum test. For throttle body injection systems, you may perform a fuel system pressure test, a fuel volume test, a deadhead test, a leak down test, or a vacuum test. For port or direct fuel injection systems, you may perform a fuel system pressure test, a fuel volume test, a deadhead test, a leak down test, or a vacuum test. For continuous injection systems, you may perform a fuel system pressure test, a fuel volume test, a leak down test, or a vacuum test. Note. Do not perform the deadhead test on CIS vehicles. Port Injection Fuel System Pressure Test To perform a fuel system pressure test, verify that the correct setup steps for the appropriate fuel system have been performed. Verify that the vehicle's engine is running and check connections for leaks. Note the vehicle's fuel system pressure reading from the fuel pressure gauge on the control panel of the unit. Note, this is the fuel system's running pressure if the pressure is erratic or the vehicle is slow to reach maximum pressure, the vehicle's fuel filter may be clogged or its fuel pump may be weakening. Performing a fuel volume test. Verify that the correct setup steps for the appropriate fuel system have been performed. Verify that the vehicle's engine is running and check connections for leaks. Press and hold the fill purge button. You should observe a strong flow of fuel from the vehicle into the unit's fuel reservoir. 
The fuel level window should show a quarter tank in the unit's fuel reservoir within 15 to 20 seconds. This indicates sufficient fuel volume. Note, if the vehicle stalls during this test, adjust the gate valve on the T adapter number 060-4500 with a three-quarter turn in the counterclockwise direction to close it. Restart the vehicle and slowly turn the gate valve clockwise to open it until the engine begins to labor slightly while idling. Resume the test. Release the fill purge button. Note, if the proper fuel level was not reached within 15 to 20 seconds, this could indicate a blocked fuel filter or fuel line on the vehicle. Performing a deadhead test. Note, do not perform the deadhead test on CIS vehicles. Verify that the correct setup steps for the appropriate fuel system have been performed. Verify that the vehicle's engine is running and check connections for leaks. Bend the loop adapter number 060-2501 in half for one second to restrict pressure and then release it. Observe the fuel pressure gauge on the unit. This will give a good indication of the maximum unregulated pump output capabilities. Performing a leak down test. Verify that the correct setup steps for the appropriate fuel system have been performed. Verify that the vehicle's engine is running and check connections for leaks. Turn off the vehicle. Note the pressure reading on the unit's fuel pressure gauge. The pressure should be maintained or increased due to heat expansion. On CIS systems, the pressure will drop to a point, then stabilize. See manufacturer's specifications for this amount. If a pressure drop occurs, this indicates a leak in the system. To isolate the leak, you will need to repressurize the system. Use the following steps to repressurize the system. Press and hold the start button until the fuel pressure gauge on the unit exceeds 4 PSI. Turn the pressure adjust regulator until the unit's fuel pressure gauge displays 3 quarters of the pressure as observed previously on the gauge. Press the minus button to decrease the time until the time LED displays 5 minutes. Press the leak test button on the unit's control panel. Use the procedure above to repressurize the system whenever there is a significant drop in pressure during a leak down test. Once you have repressurized the system, use the following procedures to isolate the leak. Locate the pressure line adapter closest to the T adapter, number 060-4500, and the vehicle's fuel tank. Bend the pressure line adapter in half and squeeze tightly. If the pressure stabilizes, this indicates a leak in either the pressure fuel line or a bad one-way check valve in the vehicle's fuel pump. Locate the return line adapter close to the pressure regulator. Bend the return line adapter in half and squeeze tightly. If the pressure stabilizes, this indicates a leak in the vehicle's pressure regulator. This problem is generally dirt-related and should be resolved by the cleaning process. However, if fuel is present in the vacuum line from the regulator, this indicates a leaking diaphragm. If the above procedures do not stop the leak down, bend both adapters simultaneously. If a leak down is still present, the leak is probably the result of one or more injectors leaking. This problem is generally dirt related and should be resolved by the cleaning process. Performing a vacuum pressure test. This test should be performed in conjunction with the cleaning process. With the engine off, attach the vacuum hose from the unit to a manifold vacuum source on the vehicle and leave it in place throughout the cleaning process. Start the vehicle's engine and check connections for leaks. Make a note of the reading on the vacuum gauge before you begin the cleaning process and again after the process is complete. The vacuum gauge on the unit allows before and after confirmation of the positive results of the motor vac carbon clean system cleaning process without the use of any other diagnostic equipment. The readings on the vacuum gauge should indicate a substantial improvement in the engine performance after the cleaning process is complete. To begin the cleaning procedures, fill the reservoir with 8 ounces or 236 milliliters of MV3 detergent for every quarter tank of fuel. Important, the motor vac carbon clean system is designed to work exclusively with a motor vac carbon clean detergent MV3. Use of any other chemical during this process may cause operational failure of the motor vac carbon clean system and voids the manufacturer's warranty. See warranty card for details. To add fuel to the machine, 
Press and hold the Fill Purge button on the control panel until the fuel level window indicates a combined increase of a quarter tank in the unit's fuel reservoir. Note, if the vehicle's engine stalls, restrict pressure in the fuel line by turning the gate valve on the T-adapter number 060-4500 clockwise a quarter turn. Turn off the vehicle's engine. Press the Fill Purge button. Wait four to five seconds to relieve the pressure in the red output hose. Release the Fill Purge button. Warning. Flammable liquid can squirt out of pressurized lines when connecting or disconnecting. Wear safety goggles. Obtain zero pressure before connecting or disconnecting any fuel lines or adapters. Wear chemical resistant gloves when connecting or disconnecting fittings and adapters. Wrap a shop towel around pressure fittings and adapters when disconnecting. Avoid exposure to flames, sparks, hot engine parts, and other ignition sources. Explosion or flame or exposure to flammable liquid and vapors can cause injury. Carefully disconnect the loop adapter, number 060-2501, from the return lines. Close the gate valve on the T-adapter, number 060-4500, and then carefully disconnect the T-adapter, number 060-4500, from the red output hose and the pressure lines. Important. Close the gate valve on the T-adapter and wrap a shop towel around pressure fittings before disconnection to protect against residual fuel spray. Now, connect one end of the loop adapter, number 060-2501, to the pressure line coming from the vehicle's fuel tank. Connect the other end of the loop adapter, number 060-2501, to the return line going back to the fuel tank. This forms a tank-to-tank -tank loop, making it unnecessary to disconnect the fuel pump and avoid setting a fault code. Connect the red output hose from the unit to the adapter on the pressure line going into the fuel rail. Now, connect the black return hose from the unit to the adapter on the return line coming from the fuel rail. You are now ready to perform the port fuel injection cleaning procedure. The following sequence shows the rail flush procedure, which circulates the cleaning mixture through the port fuel injection unit to clean the fuel rail, injector screens, and pressure regulator. This is done with the engine off. Verify that port fuel injection setup has been completed before continuing. Turn the pressure adjust regulator clockwise until closed. Note, except for carbureted and returnless systems, always close the regulator clockwise when performing the engine cleaning procedure. Press and hold the start button until the fuel pressure gauge on the unit exceeds four PSI and the up arrow LED remains on without flashing. Now, release the start button. This will clean the port fuel injection unit. Rotate the pressure adjust regulator during the rail flush for a more effective cleaning. Note, make a note of the fuel pressure reading. This is the true opening pressure of the vehicle's pressure regulator without vacuum assist when the engine is at normal operating temperature. Note, refer to the appropriate intake system cleaning procedure section for proper intake track cleaning at this point. Press the plus button to increase the time or the minus button to decrease the time until the time LED displays 10 minutes. This section is designed to show you how to correctly use the intake cleaning system or ICS. Warning, extreme care must be taken when performing this process. Failure to take the necessary precautions may result in mechanical failure of the engine. Important, wear suitable OSHA approved safety goggles before starting this or any other motor vac carbon clean service. Fill the ICS container with a maximum of 4 ounces of MV4 intake cleaning detergent. Pressurize the container with shop air to a minimum of 80 PSI. Do not exceed 185 PSI. Shake the ICS container to aerate the mixture. Note, if the ICS container has too much cleaner in it, there may not be enough air volume to force the cleaner out with sufficient velocity to contact the intake plenum walls. Always be sure to maintain at least 80 pounds of pressure in the ICS container. Be certain that the ICS 30-inch spray tube is free from any kinks or bends. Attach the spray tube to the end of the ICS container. Measure the length of the engine air intake manifold by laying the spray tube on top of the manifold. At the throttle plate, grip and hold the tube. Note, this will be the maximum length that the tube may be inserted into the manifold. Caution! On CIS fuel systems, do not open or move the sensor plate or air door on the engine when the fuel distributor is pressurized. 
the CIS system will spray fuel into the engine while it is not running. With the engine off and the engine's air duct removed, open the throttle plate wide open or have someone hold it open. Insert the ICS spray tube into the manifold up to the point previously measured. While holding the container upright, press and hold the nozzle of the ICS container and quickly pull the spray tube to the open end of the manifold near the throttle plate. Release the nozzle once the tip of the spray tube gets near the throttle plate. Note, do not spray the ICS kit outside of the throttle bore housing. If the MotorVac carbon clean system is in use at the time, press the stop button to depressurize the engine's fuel system. Note, it is recommended that after each pass with the ICS container, the engine should be bumped over using the starter. Do not allow the engine to start. Note, disconnecting and grounding the secondary ignition will also keep the engine from starting. Quickly turn the ignition to the start position, then back to the off position to rotate the engine over slightly or use a remote trigger. Repeat these procedures a maximum of three times. The continuation of the cleaning service will require the installation of the six inch spray tube to clean the idle air control passage. Now return to the rail flush procedure. Press the start button. After the 10 minutes has expired on the time LED display, press the start button again until the pressure rises to the previous system pressure and release. Press the plus button to increase the time or the minus button to decrease the time until the time LED display indicates 30 minutes. Runtime may be adjusted depending on the condition of the vehicle's fuel system. Start the vehicle to begin the fuel system cleaning process. Note, if the vehicle is equipped with a cold start injector, you may use an injector pulser to energize the cold start injector a few quick times during the run cycle to clean it. When the runtime expires, the cleaning is complete. The unit will automatically shut off and purge the pressure lines for five seconds. The cycle complete LED on the control panel will illuminate and the unit's alarm will sound. Now, turn off the vehicle's ignition. Remove the vehicle's gas cap to relieve fuel tank pressure. Reinstall the vehicle's gas cap. Disconnect the battery leads, hoses, and adapters. Return the vehicle's fuel system to its normal operating condition by reconnecting the vehicle's fuel lines. Start the vehicle and verify that there are no leaks. Test drive the vehicle for three miles immediately following the cleaning service to flush all detergent from the vehicle's fuel and exhaust systems. How to present and sell the Carbon Clean System service. Now that you know how to effectively use the Carbon Clean System, we will show you how to present this valuable service to your customers and increase your shop sales. If used effectively, the Carbon Clean System can be a standalone profit center and will provide a foundation for other add-on maintenance services. The key is to integrate it into your customer's regular maintenance program. The best way to begin promoting the service is by discussing the many benefits with your customers as they come in for a tune-up or repair. We recommend that you use an interview approach as outlined in the following chart. How to discuss the Carbon Clean Fuel System Maintenance Program. Conduct a quick three-minute interview and ask your customers some key questions. Are you experiencing hesitation at the time of acceleration? Are you experiencing difficulty with cold starts or occasional stalling? Are you getting less gas mileage or lower fuel economy? If the answer is yes, then fulfill their need and promote regular preventive maintenance. It is recommended that a fuel cleaning service be done once per year or every 15,000 miles. Demonstrate the benefits and point out the service advantages. Tune-ups and new parts will never get the carbon buildup out of your fuel system. With these kind of problems, you need a carbon clean system service to restore performance. Warn about potential problems and help your customers save money. This service can help you get better fuel economy and avoid major costly repairs. Close this sale by saying, I recommend this service and say it with confidence. When using this approach, most shops can perform at least one service per day, if not more. Even if the service is sold only three times per week, using the national average price of the service and its average cost, a shop can pay off the machine in about three months. Every service sold from that point forward will contribute to your shop's profitability. The Carbon Clean system can be a great benefit to any repair shop. It will help your business grow and be more profitable while increasing your customer's satisfaction so they return again and again.
Thank you again for your interest in the Carbon Clean system. If you have already purchased a unit, we hope this video has helped you get the full benefit from our product. If you were thinking about purchasing a unit, we hope this video has convinced you that the Carbon Clean system is the only fuel cleaning and diagnostic system you should own. MotorVac is committed to supporting all of our customers who have purchased our products, and we invite you to call us if you have any questions. In the U.S. and Canada, please call either Customer Service or Technical Services at 800-841-8810. If you are outside the U.S., call 714-558-4822 or your local distributor. You may also send an email to any department at MotorVac by visiting www.motorvac.com and going to the Contact Us section of the website. Thank you, and we appreciate your interest in MotorVac.